Hello, hardworking parents. I wanted to share a technique with you that you can use when your child is stressed or anxious or having a hard time sleeping or any just tough emotion that they're going through that you need, you can use some help in, in changing their state. You can also use this technique yourself. I'm going to lead you along as if you're doing it with your child, but you can change the words at any point to help yourself calm down. The technique is called tapping. It's also been referred to as the emotional freedom technique. Um, in double blind studies, it's been shown to relieve stress and, and change the body's stress response up to 25%. Um, it, is a tech, it is a combination of Chinese acupressure as well as Western psychology. So essentially you are, or your child is, talking out their stuff and what's going on with them while tapping on acupressure points. It's a simple technique. Um, it can look a little silly to start, but once you feel the effects or your child feels the effects, it can go a long way in helping you or helping them through difficult emotions. So it goes like this. You would start by rating your issue. So for example, say your child is having a hard time sleeping. So on a scale from one to 10, one being the um, least of an issue and 10 being a, a big issue, they would rate that issue of falling asleep. So say they're at an eight, I just can't sleep. My mind won't settle down. And once you rate the issue or they rate the issue, you take a deep breath, let it out and start on the karate chop point just below the pinky. And you just start with a setup statement. So even though I can't sleep, I know that I am okay. Even though I can't, relax my body to fall asleep, I know that I am safe. Even though I'm having trouble settling down to get a good night's sleep and I've got a really early morning in the morning, I know that I'll be okay and I love myself anyway. So moving to the eyebrow point, just the inside of the eyebrow and you can use one or both hands whatever you're comfortable with start with the negative I am so tired and I cannot sleep side of eye I just want to go to sleep why won't my mind or body settle down under eye I just need to fall asleep and my mind is racing under nose, I don't know why I can't calm down. Under mouth, on your chin point, I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm, I feel anxious about it. Collarbone, I'm so tired and I just can't sleep. Underarm, I wish that I could fall asleep, but the more I wish for it, the harder it is. Top of head, my mind is so busy right now. So essentially that would be considered one round of tapping. So if you would like, oftentimes I go through a second round, just starting back at the eyebrow point and going eyebrow, side of eye, under eye, under mouth, I'm sorry, under nose, under mouth, collarbone, under arm, and top of head. It does not matter the order. Sometimes some children don't like a particular part of their face touched or maybe something's uncomfortable to them. If there's a point you need to skip, skip it. Um, the idea is that there are certain points that will resonate with them and hopefully you can find those out and help, help them continue to calm their body. So typically after going through a round or two of the negative feeling, you switch to a more positive feeling and start a round of, what if my body could just relax? 
side of I. What if my brain could calm down so I could sleep? Under I. I know that I'm safe. Under nose. I've slept before and fallen asleep easily. Under mouth. My body's tired and it's ready for sleep. Collarbone. What if I could just let go a little bit more and settle down for sleep? Underarm, feeling more relaxed now. Top of head, feeling safe and sleepy. So that's an example of a positive round you could do as many as you need as as with the the negative rounds you can do as many as you need to kind of process through the feeling or help your child process through it um the reason i'm pausing after after stating something is typically the the person leading the tapping makes the statement and the person following along would be tapping with them and echo them or repeat what they said Oftentimes with my own children, they just tap and talk and I'll just tap with them. And sometimes I echo them uh, because the more specific you can get about an issue, the, the more um, useful the technique can be. So at the end of the positive round, you go ahead and you take a big deep breath and you go back to that number that you originally, the original issue, what you rated um, and you check in and see if it's shifted at all. And sometimes it can change quickly and other times it can come down incrementally or even stay the same. So it may take a few rounds of this, but it's a very simple technique that is actually impacting the nervous system and the, and the body stress response to help it calm down. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's certainly a wonderful way to reconnect and connect with your children and assist them with difficult things they're going through. And again, something for yourself to consider as well. Thank you so much for listening.